I don't know who started this, but it's a pretty good idea of just, it's hard to remember how to do those things or when to do those things. And this is just a good time to do it. You know, not only smoke detector batteries, but make sure you're checking carbon, carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, give those a check as well as checking the batteries in those as well. It, it seems it's, it, it, it's easy to do, but boy, when you're in line of work, it's a lifesaver. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times the statistics are much more in favor of you surviving in your house catching on fire than if you do have a smoke detector than not. It's, uh, it's like two out of every five people that perish on a fire are from a home that does not have a working smoke detector. So it's a really big deal. Well, and your heart just breaks when you see these stories. Especially, oh. yeah, especially when, you know, not saying the fire could be prevented, but the, the notification could, could have been there for you to get out or your family to get out much sooner. Well, I, and, I, and I know this drives firemen just crazy <laughs> about when you, when you, uh, when you uh, are cooking something on the stove, the smoke detector goes off, you take the batteries take out. Take the battery out or people just take it off and put it on the counter. And the problem even with the counter, people say, oh, well, it still works. Well, it does still work, but unfortunately it's at a three foot level now instead of, you know, a seven or eight foot level where the smoke's gonna come down to. So it's definitely a big deal. We, we, we stand in here with all this equipment and, and, and boy, you guys have top of the line yes, sir. equipment here but it really does come down to a lot of times survival to just a little it piece of plastic. It comes down to a $1 uh, battery. So, you know, as much as we preach and preach and preach, it's really a big deal. Um, I know we have a program here in the city that if you're unable to do, uh, unable to get a detector or a battery, you can call us and we're able to come out and check your detectors, get you a battery and, and replace your detector if yours does not work. The other thing is uh, a smoke detector is, is, is great, but also have a plan. Yeah, know what an to emergency. do. Yep, an emergency plan to get out. That's something that we harp uh, pretty hard on the groups that come in the firehouse, the preschool groups when they do the tours of get, going back home, sitting down with mom and dad of knowing, hey, when there's a fire, there's an emergency. We go to the tree out front or we go to the neighbor's house or we do something that there. So you know that everybody is out. You know, it's great if everybody gets out, but if we still think that there's people inside, that's going to kind of change our mindset of when we get there of how we're going to go about things. It's also a good idea, especially for with if you've got a young family or a family of any kind, to come to things when, when you have open houses or, or stop by the fire Absolutely. station. That's why Bring your kids by. That's why we try to keep the doors open to let everybody know, you know, we want visitors. We want people to come in. Um, you know, the, the guys and gals here are super friendly. So come in, talk to them, ask them questions. You know, and if, if even if it's something that we don't know, we'll certainly get back and uh, get the best information out. One thing I had never thought of until I, I, I saw it in a presentation that, that you guys did this summer about the fact, especially for kids, if a fireman comes to your house, you're going to have a lot of equipment on and a lot of times over your face. Yeah, it's, uh, it, can be, it can be a little scary to the younger ones. And that's why, again, when we do pub eds or we go to schools and do, uh, do some training with, with the kids, we, get, we start in, the, you know, in our station uniform and we get dressed all the way up into our turnout gear with our SCBA mask and breathe in air so they know how we look, they know how we sound, so they know it's, you know, it's, it's still Johnny. It's just Johnny, in, you know, in his full get up. The other thing, I remember we talked about this last year, the smoke detectors have, a, they've got an expiration date a lot of times. Yeah, most, most times are 10 years. Uh, and some of them even have an internal battery that you can't replace the battery. The, the whole detector will go out of service in five, seven or 10 years. And you just need to take the detector off, read the back at the expiration date. And, uh, and when it meets its expiration date, you know, it's, it's time to go ahead and replace it. And replace it. And if, and if you can't, if, if that's something that... If it's something that you're unable to do, contact the local fire departments. Uh, like I say, I, I can just speak for ourselves here in the city that we have a program for that. But I'm, I'm fairly certain the counties as well around us have, have something that you're able to get some help and assistance with. So Saturday night before you go to bed... Change your clocks. Yep, change your clocks, check the smoke detector batteries and carbon monoxide detectors.